So far in Chapter 16, we've looked at how to uh, learn about the two different models of acids and bases. We talked about the relationship of the conjugate acid-base pair. We understand the concept of what a strong acid means and the relationship between the strength of the acid and the strength of the conjugate base. Today, we're going to focus on the ionization of water. Water as an acid and a base. Water is considered a substance that's called amphoteric. That means it can either act as an acid or as a base. When water ionizes, it breaks up into hydronium ions and hydroxide ions. The concentration of hydronium and hydroxide are equal when water ionizes. So the concentration of H3O plus is the same as the concentration of OH minus, which is about 1 times 10 to the neg negative 7th molar. These brackets are on the outside. We haven't used those before, and that means concentration of. The H3O plus, the brackets indicate concentration of, the product of H3O plus and OH minus is always constant. So the Kw at 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of hydrogen ion times the concentration of hydroxide ion is always 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. An acidic solution is one where the hydrogen ion is greater than the hydroxide ion. A basic solution is where the hydro hydroxide ion is greater in concentration than the hydrogen ion. And a neutral solution is when they are in equal amounts or equal concentrations. In each case, we can always take the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration, and we should always come up with 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Let's take a look at some examples. These are given on page 524 of your textbook and 525. Example 16.3 is the one that's on this page. It says to calculate the H plus or the OH ion concentration as required for each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius and state whether the solution is neutral, acidic, or basic. We're going to start with the first one, 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar of hydroxide ion. It says to calculate the H plus or OH minus as required. So in this example, it gives us the OH and it wants us to calculate the H plus ion concentration. And there's something you need to remember, and that comes from the slide before this. Remember that the hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by the hydroxide ion concentration is always equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th at 25 degrees Celsius. And that's the circumstance we have now. So we can do a really easy math problem uh, with this example. Since the H plus times the OH concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, we can fill in the concentration for the hydroxide ion, which is the 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar that was given, and calculate the H plus ion concentration. We just plug it into our formula. H plus concentration times the OH minus concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Divide both sides by 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, and that leaves the hydrogen ion concentration at 1 times 10 to the negative 9th, and that is your answer. The second part of the question, it says to state whether the solution is neutral, acidic, or basic. Because the OH concentration is bigger, remember negative exponents mean smaller numbers, so the OH concentration is to the 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, the hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 9th, so this one is actually larger because the OH concentration is larger than the H+, plus, the solution is considered basic. And tomorrow when we get into calculating the pH, you'll be able to calculate pH and understand better how to tell if something's acidic or basic rather than looking just at the concentration alone. There are similar questions for B and C in your textbook, and they show how to do those answers as well as the one on page 525. If you have any questions, just let me know.